Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys. So yesterday we finished the day one and one. Uh, we had Seattle yesterday who did manage to get the job done against a lowly looking Texas team. Um, it's funny, like obviously in baseball, anything can happen at any minute. And yesterday did show that in a couple games. Um, I never really feel concerned about Texas. I don't know. I just feel like they're never really going to do anything. That's They're a very lackluster team. Um, they lack offense. They lack pitching. They lack quality baseball team. Um, so again, I felt we had a big advantage with Seattle yesterday. And yeah, got it done. Um, on the flip side of the coin, guys, our loss. We had Oakland and Cleveland under nine and a half. Um, Cleveland, they did exactly what they needed to do, putting up zero runs. However, Oakland, after converting uh, their first two touchdown plays, then added a field goal to win 17 to nothing. So Oakland into Oakland, where was that? Where was that two days ago when we had the two unit play on us on, on you guys and you made us sweat it out? Um, yeah, I would have preferred 17 runs a couple days ago, although we did win that two unit play. Um, it was uh, it was an interesting day. We had two unders yesterday, guys. Uh, oh, by the way, we finished overall five and five for the day. Um, we had two under plays yesterday. We had another one in uh, St. Louis and Pittsburgh. And at one point yesterday, uh, they had put up uh, 19 runs. Or sorry, pardon me, 20 runs. They put up 20 runs between the two of them at one point, okay? They ended up getting more. They put up 20 runs on 19 hits. Think about that for a second. 20 runs... On 19 hits, that's hard to do. That requires, needless to say, some walks and some extra bases. Um, so it wasn't going our way early. We actually started the day 0-2. We battled back, and then um, we, we got a break. We finally, it's like we got this awesome break. Um, Yankees, we took Yankees yesterday plus 150. I said, you know, they're, they're a lot of value. Um, you know, there certainly was going to be distractions at this game and stuff like that. You know, might have some top-notch pitchers. Lance Lynn, um, off their game, right? So uh, Yankees pull out the miracle, how fitting, how fitting at that particular game, uh, Field of Dreams game, if you don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, and very, very cool. I mean, that was probably one of the coolest things I've seen in baseball in years, maybe ever, I don't know. Um, and it was so cool because the Yankees, late miracle, okay? Um, home run by Judge, two run shot to bring them within a run, and then um, walk, and then Stanton, another two-run shot, uh, and now now they're winning. So, I mean, you know what? Is that lucky? Yeah, that's incredibly lucky. It's incredibly lucky, okay? Um, this is with two outs, by the way. So, you know, we've lost a number of games with two outs this year, a lot. Um, so I thought, you know what? This is, this is fantastic. You know, the fact that the Yankees are going to do this, and at this particular game... Um, in the back of our minds, we probably are all thinking the same thing. The Yankees have burned us twice already late in games. And uh, you know what? Uh, the second I saw Zach Britton, and I don't know. Look, there's something in my brain. The second I saw Zach Britton come out, my heart sank. And it's like I, I, I knew we were going to lose that game. I know that sounds defeatist. And that's not the way I think. I just I knew we were going to lose that game. Um Yankees have blown two games that we've had. So, I mean, that was obviously in the back of my mind. But Zach Britton can't get one out, let alone three. I mean, he really struggles to get out. You have so many better options. You're trying to get into the playoffs. I don't I don't understand the decision to put him in. He, I mean, he's his ERA is up over six. He can't record an out. He gives up home runs left, right, and center. And you have a one-run lead. So... Um, as crazy as this sounds, so they get a guy on base and they hit a home run and lose, walk off home run. I mean, great for the game. To see a game finish like that, great for the game, not so good for us. Guys, I swear to God, when he hit that home run, I, I just, I kind of just, I don't know, it, it didn't affect me in any negative way at all. I'm just like, okay. it was. I was so expecting that ball to go out of the park that when it did, I wasn't shocked at all. And that's pretty sad to say. So the Yankees burned us for the third time this year but look the fact that they were even in a spot like that to make that comeback is pretty miraculous so um great game to watch didn't work out uh we did hit phillies yesterday 
Um, plus 125, Joe Girardi, one of those managers, does not like to be swept at home yesterday. And I loved, I loved, if you guys were in that chat, the chat room, I loved how everyone on earth was talking about Dodgers are such good value. The Dodgers are such good value. Bet the Dodgers. Bet that everybody talking about that. Um, you know, and again, I'm, I'm not trying to put people down, but it's like people talk about value like they know what they're talking about, like they could find value anywhere. Um, at, at the end of the day, like Phillies were the play, 100% Phillies were the play, and they, they managed to get it done. Um, okay, uh, finally, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I don't want to keep rambling. I got a couple of plays for you guys, but uh, the good news, bad news for the day, guys. Um, I don't think I mentioned this yet. Uh, bad news. We started our NFL season 0-1, so the chances at a perfect year are now gone. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, we went 0-1. We hit Philly in that game, um, and they started off uh, started off pretty well, and uh, pardon me, and then self-destructed. So it is what it is. Good news, CFL guys, the Canadian Football League. Uh, we've started 4-0 on the season, and we picked up some little money line sprinkles uh, on three of the games. So um, yeah. Good start to uh, good start to CFL uh, today, guys. I have two baseball plays for you guys. Masterclass. I got some more baseball. I have two NFL, and I have another CFL play uh, going today. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking here, guys. Uh, first off, guys, we are going to jump right back onto Philly. Uh, we're going to take Philly minus one fifty eight. Okay, Philly minus one fifty eight. Uh, second game, guys. Um, Going with uh, Chicago and Miami, and we're going to take the under, okay? We're going to go Chicago, Miami, under seven and a half. Uh, oh, what's the total on here? Or sorry, what's the juice? Uh, um, I go two books to compare. I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to bear with me for one second. We are going under seven and a half. Everyone's like, okay, I got seven and a half. I'm out of here. Um well, that loads, guys. I will tell you, um, money distribution, good, not great. Well, we're looking at 45% of bets, 54% of money. But it does show, um, you know, we prefer that to be under 50%. But it does show um, that there are sharps uh, on that, guys. And as well, if, if that didn't confirm it, five steam and reverse line moves um, on that game. And it is minus 115. All right. So... Chicago Cubs, Miami, minus 115, under seven and a half. That is it for us today, guys. Uh, again, if you're interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com. It is $99 a month, guys. Gets you my full card of picks every single day, plus all the Masterclass educational videos. And again, we got a couple NFL, CFL, and we got some more baseball coming at you in Masterclass. That is it for us today, guys. Thank you very much. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day.